The Irish Survey of Student Engagement, or ISI, started in 2014 following a large national pilot in the previous year with over 12,700 responses. The ISI operates as a national collaborative partnership between higher education institutions, national agencies and student unions. It is designed to inform enhancement and development within institutions while also providing a national set of data. The main objective is to provide benefits to each institution, both staff and students, by helping to collect evidence on students' experiences and by ensuring that students know that their views have been heard and that appropriate action will follow. To promote the potential of the data as a resource for academic staff, we look at how it's being used in individual disciplines and institutions. The response rates in GMIT have improved dramatically over the three years that we increased to 30% which is a huge response rate which gives us very accurate data. It was heavily promoted during the three week period in the college with posters and um, as lecturers we were encouraged to give the students some time to fill out their survey, inform them about the survey because ultimately the higher the response rate the better for us because they give us more accurate information and we get a, a broader base. It's very important that the students see the direct response from their feedback. So at the end of each academic year, I sit with the class reps and we go through the annual report from ISI and we look at the individual department and we look and see how can we make any changes and improvements to improve our programme development and our programme modules based on their feedback and also the general findings from ISI. Where we get um, the feedback from the students is where they can give us some input to their own forms of learning. I've been involved in retention initiatives over the years and I've always found it very difficult to get data to support an argument. You know, so for example, for our math centre here in GMIT, we had very strong data from the ISI report, which indicated that at GMIT and across other sectors, that there was issues with maths. The ISI data that is available for us is fantastic in the sense that if I feel the students are challenged in a particular area, that it allows me to zone in on this area and then maybe get financial support if I need it based on the data. This for me is a move away from anecdotal evidence so now if I want to push my case I have the data to support it. Overall what we want to do is increase and enhance the student educational experience um, and really ultimately ISI gives us the tools to do that. So it allows us to develop our courses and make them more student-centred, but also encourage more active learning, more participation, and ultimately better courses. So the more you feed into this data, the more valuable it becomes.